Hi, I'm Norman A. Hood, financial advisor and host of the Exit Plan Show. I interview America's top advisors like today's guest, Gary Parrott. To help business owners enjoy more personal freedom, grow their companies faster, and transition ownership seamlessly when the time comes. Welcome to the show, Gary. Thanks, Norm. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. We're going to start out. I'm just going to have you tell our audience a little bit about your background and your career path up until now. Sure. Uh, coming out of the University of Arkansas, went into business, uh, worked for a New York Stock Exchange company for a good while, broke out, had the entrepreneurial spirit, and uh, have owned numerous companies and built them up, uh, probably the largest in 16 different countries, 34 offices, and over a period of time, uh, just grew to really enjoy consulting and mm -hmm. counseling with people in business, how to grow their business and how to uh, create a culture and create leadership. I found, uh, you know, in the 1980s and 90s, which you can remember back mm -hmm. that far, uh, operational effectiveness and efficiency was the, the buzzword. You had mm -hmm. to be effective and had to be efficient. But the relationship and key leadership where you built groups that had synergistic relationships and mm -hmm created teams was not the emphasis and mm -hmm. as we became automated and the computers came in the ability to be operationally effective and efficient was there mm -hmm. but then stepping beyond that was hard to do and how do you motivate how do you build a fire inside of people mm -hmm. as opposed to building the fire underneath people right true came a key pinpoint to uh, developing leadership how to have leadership I guess the development of leadership programs intrinsic inside of business, mm -hmm. and that's the arena I stepped into. I've been doing that now for about 15 years. Okay. How do the people that know you the best, how do you think they'd describe you personally? Like your, <laughs> like your close friends? Or <laughs> close friends. Uh, probably fast thinker, but at the same time, I hope reflective. I, I try to be considerate with, with other people. but. Uh, I think understanding, mm -hmm. uh, the ability to hear where they are and understand where they are and mm -hmm. to listen. Okay, good. As far as the services you offer, can you explain that a little bit more to our audience? Uh, sure. Uh, most of the time when I'm brought in, if a board member or a lead executive brings me into a corporation or into a nonprofit, when I come in, a lot of times the person that hires me is actually the problem that I'm coming to solve okay. because they're controlling the organization or the industry and I, I'm basically being hired to come support mm -hmm. their position. Mm -hmm. But what I try to do is, is move into companies. I know that inside of a company we, we have uh, strategic planning and strategic plan folders. We have vision statements. Mm -hmm. We have mission statements, core value statements. I find that the, the greater majority, I, I see uh, vision statements and core value statements and strategic planners with thousands of dollars invested mm -hmm. sitting on a shelf. Right. They can't execute. They mm -hmm. can't implement. They mm -hmm. can't get it happening in mm -hmm. their culture. Uh, so many entrepreneurs have grown their business mm -hmm. as firefighters. Right. They have survived as an entrepreneur. They do not know how to create infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So where I come in, the primary point that I come in is I will bring to a leadership group infrastructure if they need infrastructure, understanding how they can put an executive committee in, how the entrepreneur, many times an entrepreneur is ready to exit his business not because mm -hmm. it's really time to exit his business he's burned out right he has uh, dissipated himself in so many multitudes of directions mm -hmm. that he can no longer feel functional mm -hmm. uh, he's looking for friday afternoon to come right and can't That's stand true. to see monday morning come mm -hmm. and, and they've lost the fire they've lost the vigor they've lost the uh zeal for their own business mm -hmm. and when you come in and you tell them that they eight years ago should have been applying infrastructure mm -hmm. and they really can't understand it well i'm just doing what i've always done so, mm -hmm. but yeah now you're not a million dollar company you're a 30 million dollar mm -hmm. company or you're a 140 million dollar company you can't keep doing all of these jobs then they don't know how mm -hmm. to create that infrastructure mm -hmm. and so what we generally do I will revise their vision so that their vision becomes something that can be articulated. It okay. can be 
it, it's compelling, it's inspiring, it's mm-hmm. simple. Mm-hmm. Every single employee now inside of the organization, unlike this individual when he began a business, mm-hmm. now you can go in and you can get every person involved. Mm-hmm. They have value inside the vision. Mm-hmm. And most people totally do not understand mission and vision. Most right. executives get it mm-hmm. confused. They have a very hard time doing it. As a matter of fact, in boards a lot of times, I run an exercise with them when they usually come back at me and go, well, we have a vision. That's not what we're going to do. We have our mission statements and our vision. Mm-hmm. And what I'll do is hand them a sheet of paper mm-hmm. and pass it around seven or eight guys and I say, write down the top three points of your vision. Mm-hmm. They can't even write it down. Yeah. And you look at them and say, how do you expect the other 160-something people or 400 mm-hmm. people in your organization to know it if you don't even know it? Mm-hmm. But the application is if we can bring people and leaders to understand what their vision is, mm-hmm. if we can bring them back to understanding what their core values are mm-hmm. and standing on those core values, mm-hmm. you then execute on a daily basis the mission mm-hmm. that is taking you towards mm-hmm. this vision. Mm-hmm. Now what that does for you, and it changes leadership, and the reason I do this in exit planning mm-hmm. or in succession planning mm-hmm. or transition planning, mm-hmm. I've got, you know, the idea of planning is to know where you're going and you're trying to get somewhere. Right. Mm -hmm. And if you can get people locked into getting a picture for where they're going, inspiring and giving that to other people, Mm -hmm. having core values that they make decisions based on Mm -hmm. on a daily basis, what you can do is change the mentality of leadership and organizations from problem solving Mm -hmm. to opportunity focused. Oh, okay. The greater majority of companies I walk into, their agendas, their meeting agendas are problems. Mm -hmm. They're fighting fires just like Mm -hmm. the company has done. Mm They've created a culture of problem solving. Mm -hmm. They make decisions which then incites and brings out some of the worst attributes of some of their leadership. Control. Mm -hmm. Shutting things down that aren't where you want it to be. Mm -hmm. And the reality is that if you looked at it as an opportunity instead of if if you were going to go in and control it or shut it down, Mm -hmm. you're going backwards. Right. Right. If you're looking at it as this is an opportunity to make a change, to make some type of an evolution, to reach this vision based on our values, Mm -hmm. you become opportunity focused. And when you can change a culture to being opportunity focused Mm -hmm. and looking to where they're going, Mm -hmm. it's very easy to start changing the culture to start developing leadership to Mm -hmm. empower the people to move that way. Mm -hmm. And it creates a whole new expectation of the organization. Great. That's good. Very good information. Great interview, too. Great. Appreciate it. That was Gary Parrott. For more information about Gary and his firm, please check out the show notes for this episode on our website.